do a great job of gluing it all together but the model is incredible i believe it's called the dhb01 minimalistic violin by pink on printables.com i'm gonna put all the info in here and in the description so you should get it you should make it it's really really nice and anything that's not nice about it it's my fault so let's go over it i printed it on a carbon x1c I really love it. I think it does a great job. I used a generic PLA carbon fiber filament that I got from Micro Center. I think it cost me about 30 bucks per kilogram and this I think took about 300 grams. Pretty affordable I think. I used a carbon fiber rod. It goes all the way over here through the neck and the body. There's obviously also a brass tube. I got the wrong diameter still made it work <laughs> i have some epoxy that i glued it all together with some guitar tuners i feel like i need a different kind of guitar tuner because while i was winding up the strings these two especially kept popping off so i think i either was doing something wrong because i have no experience with guitar tuners or i need different tuners because these were like the cheapest ones that you could get the pickup is really cool. I really like it so far. It's called Shadow. Very mysterious and I think the model is something like 945S. First I looked at an, on their website and it was not available but then I found it on Amazon. The designer of this violin recommends it. I think it sounds nice for a pickup. I don't like playing with pickups. It works for this purpose though. It works really, really well. I 3D printed the bridge. I decided not to even try doing anything with a real wooden bridge. And I have to say, making this thing has erased any desire for me to try and do anything with real wood or make a real acoustic violin. Zero, zero desire at this point. This was very labor intensive. What mistakes did I make while making this? Don't don't make these mistakes. So I want to tell you about them. Number one, supports. I thought I had good settings for supports because I went down your Reddit rabbit hole and I tweaked some settings, but they were still not good enough. They were, I mean, they were too good actually. They were just like really stuck on there. And this model has two very long, narrow and deep holes one for the carbon fiber rod and the other actually for the other end of it and i didn't get the supports out so for this one it starts here and i think i got the supports out up to here but the thing is it goes up to here so i decided because i was about to give up i thought i wouldn't be able to use this print and i would have to print it all over again I drilled into the neck as you can see right here and I went to town with some tweezers. It was the worst part of making this thing. Don't, yeah, figure out your supports. What else did I do wrong? Oh yeah, so the sides of the neck were really rough. I wanted to get them smoother and of course I also went on Reddit and I looked for what people used for 3D models for smoothing them and all of that and I found this thing. It's really toxic apparently which I should have looked up right away but I didn't. So I put it all over the neck, the front, the sides and the back. Should have left the front as it was because it was great. The texture was perfect just like the fingerboard that I would want to use. I put it on here, I sanded it and then I put a bunch of layers of sandable primer and I wanted to seal it and the only thing I had on hand was this acrylic sealant. I just don't like how it feels. It feels pretty terrible, especially shifting, going up the neck, it leaves all kinds of residue on my fingers. I really don't like it, but it's my first make so it's okay that I made mistakes. I, I, I don't mind. I knew something was going to go wrong and 
this is this is fine it's still functional what else when i was gluing the parts together the brass tube and the chin rest and shoulder rest i totally did not think of the logistics of that and it was a bit of a panic for me because i started gluing here and then i realized that my little tube of epoxy was going to dry out before i got to these parts so i started gluing them together and it was this like balancing literally act of trying it on and by the way i think i i got the shoulder rest pretty good i like how it feels figuring out the whole layout of this and it worked out well considering it's always possible to do better but i think it works well the guitar tuners for me are a little awkward i'm not used to them like especially going like this when you're holding a bow and by the way i have no idea Deal. what I did with these settings I, I don't know what tone does <laughs> for now at least also it's been going out of tune it might be because I'm using really old strings that have been laying out around for two years at this point going flat so maybe they will settle in a day or two usually old strings don't need to settle on my acoustic but you never know it. Another thing I wanted to note is that I guess you could be consistent over here with the tuners, but I totally wasn't. I didn't really think of the directions that I was winding them in. Maybe I should have, but it works. It works. I keep trying to plan the acrylic surface of this fingerboard. It's just not, not slidey. It's like trying to swing dance on concrete. You know, you can't, you just, nah, just can't. Feels terrible. But it's all my fault. I'll try again. that I noticed was that the neck has different dimensions than my regular instrument that I use for work and it's quite a bit wider and it's deeper over here and the difference was about two millimeters both this way and the other way so I'm very curious what dimensions were used and why I haven't really looked into what dimensions are typically used I think when I make my next print I'm gonna look at those dimensions and gonna program like open cat or whatever and figure out if i can tweak them because it really does make a big difference for me overall i really really love this i'm gonna use it on a trip i just need it for one jam and i don't want to take my acoustic and suffer through arguments with staff and flight attendants and all of that for one jam i think this is gonna be great i think the model is great if you make it, please don't put acrylic on the neck and fingerboard because it's just no good. Don't do it. Please, please make one. Show it to me. I want to see what you do better. <laughs> yeah, here we go. <laughs> 